Hey, greetings everyone. This is Mike. I'm coming to you from Samurai Geek Designs. Hey, um, so this is going to be a kind of a sad day today. The, the, this is the day when the X-Wing fighter is going to go, and so does the, uh, the Battlestar Galactica, and along with a couple of other I items that I haven't shown here. Um, uh, anyway, uh, that, that's, uh, I have a couple of projects here that I work on that I don't show on camera because, uh, uh, for lack of a better explanation, uh, I, I get, excuse me, I kind of looked at something. I, I get, I get a couple of guns from time to time, and if they, uh, I don't do any kind of real gun. If they bring me a resin model of a Smith & Wesson, that's something I kind of turn down. Um, but, uh, I will do science fiction guns, and I will, uh, have them up here a little bit later on. But, um... It's for later, that's another video. So, uh, this X-Wing is going to go out today. Uh, Matt is going to come by and pick it up. But, uh, again, this one was really... I was not feeling like this was uh, a win in my book. As far as the execution and the way it was looking. But, uh, it also turned out to be uh, one of our most uh, popular builds uh, on, on Facebook. So, uh, anyway... Moving right along. Oh, I still need to do some detail back here, but I could do that real fast. But, again, I just wanted to, to uh, show you all what I've done. Uh, Model Man Tom kind of pointed out uh, an error that I might have made. Um, he says that the yellow streak, uh, the yellow stripe is not there. But I, wow, you know, I, that that is going to teach me a lesson on using some of uh, the other model builds that I've seen out there on this guy uh, as reference uh, but um, I also made another mistake here but um, this is my interpretation so I'm going to say uh, uh, you just didn't see it because of the, 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 the way the camera muted out the colors but uh, the candy striping is done on the two uh, guns here that needed it and also the chipping is done everything else is done on this guy I did r2's dome again uh he's ready to go did the helmet Ooh, he's sitting crooked uh did the helmet detail on on luke's helmet in there and i'm debating whether or not i need to do one more wash of a little bit of rust on this guy but i don't think so um so just some minor details need to be done up on this guy. Mainly the, uh, I need to even out, oh, the colors on this. These guns are not glued in, so they may look a little crooked. But, uh, hopefully they'll be alright, uh, in transit. But I need to fix the, uh, detail back here. And I didn't quite get to the base the way I wanted it to, uh, but, oof, wow, it's been crazy here. Uh, so Matt's going to come by and pick this up, and hopefully I will be starting his uh, Fine Moles 172nd Skill Millennium Falcon pretty soon. Uh, in the meantime, uh, there are going to be pictures of this guy posted uh, on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. Uh, so check those out later on if you can. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting on Matt, I'm going to continue working on the big giant... <laughs> Try not to turn it too fast, but uh, I'm going to continue working on the big giant Enterprise back there. I also have a whole bunch of figures here that I need to start making some progress on. Uh, this guy goes with this speeder bike, so this these go together, but somebody's very interested in Han Solo, and I had to be honest with him. Uh, I need to take this face all the way back down to the original primer again, because I... I I was not thinking well when I started working on this and I was trying to use a dry brushing on the face rather than actually mixing the colors and getting in there and I was really flubbing it. So there's a texture on the face that makes him look like Edward James almost now. So that needs to be taken care of. I need to start Poe Dameron for, for a customer. Uh, Batman is going to be for the shop. Obi-Wan is going to be for the shop. So is Luke over here and I've just been working on dirtying up his costume but uh, I'll be making some progress on this Bandai uh, speeder bike today uh, to get this bike at least finished out 
I need to start the Bandai Slave 1 that's sitting back over there. And I need to start making some uh, lighting progress and wiring on this guy here. Uh, this is going to get full lighting. Uh, all the lights, the blinkers are coming in. So, um, more on this guy later because the first step that along the way... Oh, there it is. I need to do the bridge dome and set the, uh, the bridge inside of it so that it can... Uh, be mounted and wired up for lighting so uh, again more on this guy later on uh, this week and just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up this is what the uh, dun, 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 dun. this is what the uh, figures ended up looking like uh, we got to unveil these yesterday at Dale Ekman's uh, toy show here in San Antonio and uh, we didn't sell them which was kind of the goal but uh, these guys are now on sale at the shop. I'm going to mark them up to 120 each or you can have the set for uh, 200 even. Uh, pri that price does not include tax, but as you can see I got the uh, 5 o'clock shadow on Batfleck and the costume was painted, the belt was painted, knuckles were done and the boot tips were done in brass. So uh, this is uh, I'm focus Batfleck and uh, Superman, we found out, come on, can you focus? We found out that there's a Wonder Woman to the set, and as soon as I grab one of those, uh, I will have one painted and displayed here uh, to kind of complete the trio here. So, uh, more on these guys later. Uh, but, uh, where am I now? So, this, this guy is going to be leaving our shop pretty soon. And uh, like I said, today's kind of bittersweet because uh, I wasn't quite happy with this guy until I finally added some tiny little details and got the guns on. And now this is a full-fledged X-Wing fighter. Looks like a 129 scale and it's a pretty sizable kit. And again, thanks to Matt for letting me work on this guy because I would not have been able to... I don't think I would have picked this one up yet. You know, it was, it's a pricey kit. And uh, I don't know if I would have had the room to, to display it. Uh, it. Definitely could here, but not at home. So you guys take care. This is going to be the end of my uh, wrap uh, of my wrap up video for this X-wing fighter. Got some more work to start jumping on, and I will see you again. I will be checking out your videos, and uh, I guess that's it. So you guys have fun. Take care. Have a great weekend. Peace out.